Hey there YouTube, welcome to Lux Lumen GR. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Thorfire PF04 pen light. Runs on two AAA batteries uh, with a max output on high of 210 lumens. Now when I first got the light, I never had any AAA batteries, so I went and grabbed up these guys right here. Nothing special, just some Panasonic things from the dollar store. Um, and they are meant for high drain devices, so they're not the low drain ones, they're the high drain device ones. So that's the ones you want to run in this light here to get the max output. You want to get the uh, alkaline batteries that run um, high drain devices. Now when I put the lights in here, I thought I'd test it out first just to see, you know, before I get my honest review on it first, opinion on it. Um, when I did put the cells in there, I did test out the output. Now on high, I got 240 lumens out of this thing. So... Um, that was at 30 seconds, which is FL1 standards. Um, so 204 lumens is what I got out of this thing right here. So let's open this thing up and I'll show you guys what's inside the box. So first off, you get the actual light inside this little bubble wrap right here. And I got the silver one. Uh, this is my first ever pen light. And I would have to say this thing is, uh, this thing is great. You also get two spare o-rings and you get the owner's manual Now the owner's manual um, gives you all the information you pretty much need I'll hold it up right here so you guys can pause it look at the parameters there we go move my fingers so you guys can see the rest of it um, as far as I know you can only use alkaline batteries in this I'm not sure if you can use the NICAD batteries or if you guys can use um, the rechargeable batteries so um, I asked them they said nope just use the uh, alkaline battery so that's what I'm going to use is the alkaline batteries and as you guys can tell I got the silver one and I'm going to shut these lights off right here and I'll go through the output really quick so put a little bit darker in here so we're going to start off on let me switch it back to what I want to do here we go so this is moonlight or low which is one lumen um, it's actually, meh. yeah, it's probably about one lumen, maybe two lumens max. Um, this lumen output right here is perfect for at night. Um, leave it by your, your bed stand. Got to use the restroom. Get up at night. Your eyes are already adjusted to the dark. Turn this thing on uh, the moonlight, and there you go. You're all set. Won't disturb nobody, and you can actually see. Now we'll jump up to uh, medium, which is 50 lumens. So there we go, that's 50 lumens, and we'll jump up to 210 lumens. Which, like I said in my uh, testing, is 240 lumens. So that means they're uh, actually true on their lumen output of 210 lumens, which is probably at one minute, which is also uh, FL1 standard. So turn that back off, turn these lights back on again. Boom, super bright. So there you go, this is the look at it. Um, like I said, I got the silver. The finish on this thing is really, really great. Uh, let me grab my pen I use at work. Here's my work pen. Here's this guy here, so exactly the same size, actually shorter than my actual pen for work, and it's a little bit bigger in diameter, uh, which would be expected, um, but nothing crazy fat, nothing you know, this thing will fit right in your pocket, you won't even know it, that it's there. So also, it comes with a nice rubber switch right here. It comes with a belt clip or a pocket clip. Uh, very, very sturdy. Uh, will not lose its, its tension on it at all. Um, very, very sturdy stainless steel clip. And then also, you get a smooth reflector with the XPG2 R5 LED inside there, so... This is actually a pretty uh, pretty deep reflector. I'd say maybe three eighths to a half inch, which is perfect for a pen light. Um, gives it a little bit of throwing distance. Now to put the batteries in, simply unscrew the head. And there you go, bloop bloop. One cell, two cell. There's the driver right there. Not sure if you guys will be able to see the tail spring inside of here, probably not. No, you cannot, but it's just a small little dinky tiny spring. Uh, nothing special. Um, it is pretty heavy duty though. 
And as far as I know, the tail does not come off. I've tried to give it a little unscrew screw and it did not work. So let's put this thing back on, make sure it works. Two, three, one, two, three. There you go, 210 lumens on the hand. It's not as, uh, I guess it would be, a, yeah, it's a neutral tint, almost a neutral to warm. So, uh, but again, great light. My first pen light ever, um, and I'm digging it a lot. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do some, a uh, little bit of uh, output testing so you guys can see in the field use. Probably gonna go out into the uh, laundry room and then probably outside, so don't go nowhere. All right, guys, now we are in my laundry room right now, and we're going to test out the output. Now, you're not obviously not going to be able to see the moonlight, but I will turn it on right here. Oh, maybe you can see it. So this is the moonlight. I can't quite see it on the machines, but let's jump up to medium. That is 50 lumens. And then we'll jump up to 210 lumens. So this is what you're going to see in the field when you're using this. It's actually pretty bright for a pen light, which is great. Now we're going to go outside really quick and get some screenshots there. Okay, guys, now we are outside right here. Um, obviously, pen lights aren't meant to be uh, used outside, but we will uh, give this thing a shot and see what it can do. Uh, they're mainly meant for indoors, small spaces, stuff like that. Um, but we'll see what's going on here. So let's put it on. This is just moonlight. Not gonna be anything special, just a little bit on the thing right there. Eh, you can see a little bit on the side of the building right here. But we will jump to 50 lumens. So there's 50 lumens on the tree, up on the leaves right there, on the side of the building. So there's your 50 lumens. I mean, it's bright enough for me to see, which is no problem at all. Go this way, you can see how it's lighting up over there. It is making that tree but you guys cannot see it, I can. We'll jump up to the 210 lumens. Boom, 210 lumens from this pen light. Shining that tree pretty good. That tree is about 30 yards away from me, so um, it's supposed to get 50 meters. And it's getting its 50 meters for sure, because that building right there that I'm lighting up is 80 yards from where I'm standing so that's pretty good it's making it across the street no problem making it over there lighting this tree up lighting this tree up pretty good bring it down and bring it back up you guys can see that it's lighting up the tree very well and lighting up the side of this building pretty good too I mean this thing <laughs> you can actually use this thing outside no problem. Like, look at this. Um, actually, I'm pretty impressed with this light. For it being a pen light, it's thing. This thing shines pretty well. It lights everything up. I mean, great beam. I mean, you got a nice hot spot in the center with a good spill. Um, the hot spot obviously catches your eye opposed to the spill, but uh, this thing is pretty sweet on the side of the building right there, and there's the trees again. There's that building over there, 80 yards away. So you get 80 yards of, uh, of use on this. I mean, I can be able to see somebody over there if I wanted to. Not showing up as bright as it is in person on the camera, but um, yeah, you can see over there, no problem. So let's go back up top for my uh, final thoughts on this Thor fire. PFO4 pen light. All right, guys, we're back up top. You guys just seen the beam shots. Beam shots do not lie. Um, this thing can be used outside without issue um, on visibility, no problem at all. You guys can use this to walk the dog, uh, to take the garbage out, anything you want, this thing will do it for you. Uh, I mean, it's not super, super bright, but it's definitely bright enough to see where you want to go, um, see stuff around you, and see ahead of you that the good 50 meters that they actually claim this thing to be pushing out to in distance wise is 50 meters. So, and again, at 210 lumens, you get 55 minutes of run time. Uh, this thing is a great little light. This thing will be uh, definitely going in my work bag 
at work. Um, if not work bag, it's going to be in my pocket and I'll be using it all the time and be carrying it with me all the time, like I said. So um, great light. I'm going to leave a, dis a, uh, a link in the description for you guys can buy this on the their Amazon store, um, Thorfire's Amazon store, um, directly from them. You'll get it. They got Prime, so you guys will get it in two days like that. Um, it's a cheap light. It's under 20 bucks. Um, like I said, it runs on two AAA batteries. You guys can, those things are available anywhere. So there's no, you don't have to get a rechargeable batteries, nothing like that. So just the actual AAA batteries, 210 lumens out of this thing for an hour almost. Um, it's perfect. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you guys enjoyed the beam shots. Um, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos that are coming in the future. So until the next one, guys, take care.